For this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a truth table for a conjunction. A conjunction is an AND statement in logic. So anytime you have two statements separated by the word AND, you have a conjunction. So if I have something like the grass is green and the sky is blue, that would be an example of a conjunction. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a truth table for a conjunction so you know how to use it when you get into more complicated truth tables. So this really is the foundational part that you absolutely must understand to build more complex truth tables. So let P and Q represent two statements. So those two statements could be any two statements. We just denote a variable to help us understand or to help us see it a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our two statements P and Q. The variables can change from problem to problem. So I could use variables like A and B. I could use S and T. P and Q are used a lot, but it doesn't matter what the variables are. These can change up here. What is always going to be the same for a truth table it, when you have two statements is the first statement can be true while the second statement is true. The first statement can be true while the second statement is false. The first statement can be false while the second statement is true or the first statement can be false while the second statement is false. If it helps you, you could also look at this in a tree diagram where I take my first statement P, this statement can either be true or false. And then my second statement can build off of here and I can have the second statement can either be true or false, but it depends on what I got on the first one. So. A truth table just puts in a table all of the possible scenarios that you can have for those two statements. So when we are looking for a conjunction, the symbol that we are going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for P and Q. So this is read as P and Q. Okay. Um, in order for this to be true, both statements must be true. Okay, so when you're filling out this column, you would look at your two statements together. Since my first statement is true with my second one being true, both of them are true. So I would assign a truth value of true to this. The second one is true and then false. Since not both of them are true, this would be a false statement. False and true would also be a false statement and false and false would be a false statement because the only way that an AND statement can be true is if both of them have a truth value of true. As you get more into logic, truth tables can be a little bit more complicated. So this is a good foundational point for you. Always know that anytime you see the symbol AND, the only way that you would assign a value of true into your truth table is if whatever you are comparing are both true. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics, please let me know that as well.